Do you want a reliable blasting machine for your business, minus the dust? Our quality American-made dustless blasting machines make light work of your heaviest industry demands. Find a solution for fleet vehicles and automotive needs, marine, offshore and wood restoration. Designed for energy... Congratulations on the purchase of your DB500 Mobile. This is an incredible machine that has the potential to make you a lot of money. This video is intended to help you set up and operate your machine properly. Luckily, it is pretty easy to use, so don't feel any pressure. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Unwrap and uncoil the blast hose and twin line. It's a good idea to tape or zip tie the twin line to the blast hose to make it more manageable. Connect the twin line to the dead man red to red and green to green. Connect the blast hose to the blast hose connection and insert the safety pin. Connect the other end of the twin line to the control box, again red to red and green to green. This twin line is what actuates the pinch valve to open or close. Unlock and remove the fill cap. Put in the funnel. The DB500 will hold 20 gallons of water, 25.6 ounces of hold type 102, and 200 pounds of recycled glass. Replace the fill cap and lock it. Turn the abrasive control knob until it allows for about an inch of silver tube to be visible. This part will not stay up until the machine has pressure. To start your compressor, you'll need to turn the first dial to the start position. Hold down the bypass button and turn the ignition to the start position, releasing it once the machine starts. Release the bypass button after the engine oil pressure gauge shows pressure. Let the compressor idle for a while, then turn the dial to the run position. Open the compressor outlet valve. These other two connections are auxiliary outlets. Close the blowdown valve. Open the air inlet valve. The machine is now ready to blast as soon as you depress the dead man. Notice that it has a safety. Depressing the dead man opens the pneumatic pinch valve, which allows airflow through the hose. As you can see, that thing strips better than Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you didn't find that joke too abrasive. <laughs> Moving on, here are some things you need to know. Always put water in the tank before the abrasive. This gives the abrasive a better chance to mix in with the water evenly. To blast, make sure that your blowdown valve is closed and your abrasive lever is open. The abrasive lever can be locked down so that you can blow things off with clean air. So if your blaster is only blowing air, that's probably why. And of course, always remember to wear the proper protective equipment. We recommend a face shield, ear protection, a Tyvek suit, and gloves. Often we get asked, what pressure should I blast at? That depends what you're blasting. We've been blasting cars at about 120 PSI, but we recommend that you start low and work your way up. Every 10 hours of blasting, we recommend turning your pinch valve hose around. This is a wear part, but turning it every 10 hours will help it last a lot longer. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us, and we hope you have a blast. To view our product demo videos, head to dustlessblasting.com.au or look for us on YouTube. Have a question? To make an order or book a free demo, call us direct on 1300 304 415 or email to sales at dustlessblasting.com.au.